Here are five ways to keep your clients happy and coming back for more of what you have to offer. In this video, I'd like to give you some ideas on a part of business that's really close to my heart, and I'm certain it's close to the heart of every single entrepreneur. And that is the importance of client retention. And especially for people like you and me who run our own businesses and where every client can feel like a part of our extended family and certainly a friend. Now, you may have heard that attracting a new client can be up to five times more expensive than keeping an existing one. And it's not just a catchy phrase, it really is a fundamental principle that talks to the value of focusing on the clients we already have. So why is client retention so crucial for small businesses like ours? Well, to start with, if we think about the last time we gained a new client and the effort and the time and the money we spent, okay, that's one thought. Now imagine instead investing a fraction of that effort, time and resource into making our current clients even happier. Not only does it make economic sense, but it also builds a sense of community, connection and loyalty, and that's priceless. Some research by Bain and Company showed increasing customer and client retention rates by just 5% can boost profits by 25 to 95%. Wow, something as simple as making sure our clients keep coming back for more can be the most effective growth strategy we can ever use. But here's the problem. In today's world where there are so many options of help for our clients, loyalty sadly can be fleeting. So how do we keep our clients engaged and committed? It's not just about delivering excellent products and services. It's about creating a relationship so strong that leaving just doesn't make sense to them. So whether you're a consultant, a coach, or running your own accountancy practice, or a small business, the message is very clear here. Let's take care of our clients and they'll take care of us. The way I like to think about it is this. The income we receive is a direct relationship to the outcome they receive. Income equals outcome. So let's look at personalized communication and how we can keep those valuable clients of ours. So this really is my first idea, personalized communication. In the vast noise of what we might call generic messaging, a personal touch can make all the difference. Just imagine receiving an email or another message that's been tailored just for you, addressing you by name, making reference to your last purchase or even wishing you well on your birthday. It shows care, doesn't it? That's what we're aiming for. Using tools like CRM, we can gather insights into our clients' preferences, their history with us, and all the little but important details. This isn't just about selling, it's about creating a relationship, a feeling, communication that says, I remember you and you matter to me. Let's talk now about the backbone of client retention, and that is exceptional customer service. It's the moments when things don't go as planned that truly test our relationships with our clients, offering a swift, empathetic solution that not only solves the immediate problem, but also strengthens their trust in us. Let's say a client faces an issue with a service we provided, going beyond a mere apology, offering to fix the problem quickly, or even a small gesture of goodwill can turn their entire experience around. It's these moments that transform a satisfied client into a loyal promoter for our business. As Professor John Murphy once told me, his research indicated that a client who rated their relationship with a supplier as satisfactory tended to be about 65% loyal, whereas a client who rated their relationship as very satisfactory was likely to be 95% loyal. What an amazing difference for the lift between satisfied and very satisfied. What a difference. Now let's think about loyalty programs. I mean, who doesn't like to feel special or rewarded? Loyalty programs are a fantastic way to say thank you to our clients for their continued business. But remember, it's not just about points or discounts. In fact, I'd completely avoid any feeling or mention of discounts. That's a transactional word and not one we want in our relationship, the one that we have with our current clients. It's about making our clients feel valued, even in a small business. Simple gestures like adding valuable bonuses or access to exclusive services can make a significant impact. It's our way of saying your loyalty matters to us. One of the ways I do this is by offering my members and clients bonus workshops on specific topics of interest to them. 
For example, I've run a workshop on project prioritization to help my clients get through any overwhelm because they've got so many things happening at the same time. I've run a workshop on one of my processes called the performance effectiveness quotient, which is a method of getting people who are going to be trained in a particular skill to self-realize that they need and want the training. I have another bonus session planned for my members called your book writing kickstart workshop where I show people how to write the book they always wanted to write for their business. These sessions are always well received and they're all bonus sessions at no extra cost to the members at all, no cost whatsoever. So let's talk about the power of listening and gathering regular feedback. And it's not just about collecting feedback through surveys or through direct conversations. It's about acting on the information we receive. Imagine tweaking a service based on actual client feedback and suggestions. It not only improves our offerings, but also shows our clients that their opinions can shape our business. This two-way street of communication is so important for both growth and retention, especially retention. Finally, let's talk about building a community. This goes beyond individual transactions to create a sense of belonging around our brand using social media, events, or even online forums. We can create a space where clients connect with each other and with us on a deeper level. For example, my paid up club members, for them, we have an online community which they can access not only online, but also through an app on their phone. This is where members of the paid up club share their experiences. They ask for help. They get engaged in the challenges that we set and compete with each other for points on the leaderboard for which they get an additional bonus. It's about creating a family where every member supports and values each other. In essence, keeping our clients and members coming back isn't just about what we sell. It's about how we make them feel valued, remembered and part of our community. As we continue on our business journey, these ideas of personalized communication are so important. They create exceptional loyalty. So what we need to do is to be thinking clearly about how we implement these ideas in our business. If you've enjoyed this video, there's plenty more of my videos about here. And in the meantime, I wish you every success in all your adventures in life. From me, Peter Thompson, until the next time. Goodbye for now.